Hey, thinkers, welcome back to another episode of Thinking to Think. Today, we're diving into a topic crucial for our mental well being stress management and mindfulness. Let's face it, life throws curveballs, and managing the stresses that comes with them can feel like juggling flaming chainsaws. But fear not, we're here to equip you with the practical tools and techniques to navigate the chaos and cultivate inner peace. Let's get started. Before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the podcast. Today, I have my co-host, my two-year-old son with me. So if you hear any background noise, just so you know, it's my co-host. Let's talk about demystifying the enemy, stress. Let's begin with understanding it. It's not inherently bad. It's our body's natural response to challenges. But chronic stress can be like a noisy alarm clock on repeat, impacting our physical and mental health. It impairs memory and learning. It can damage brain cells and disrupt memory formation, leading to forgetfulness and difficulty with concentration. It weakens your immune system suppresses the immune system, increasing susceptibility to infections and illnesses. It increases anxiety and depression and lead to chronic anxiety, stress, which is what we're talking about, and even depression. It raises blood pressure and heart rate, can contribute to high blood pressure and increase the risk of cardio- cardiovascular excuse me, problems. It also promotes muscle breakdown. And it can break down the tissues of your muscles, leading to weakness and fatigue. And it disrupts digestion and sleep, leading to digestive illnesses and insomnia. It can literally kill you. And that's where mindfulness steps in. It's like hitting the snooze button on that alarm clock that we mentioned earlier. Allowing us to calmly... (laughs) Allowing us to calmly assess the situation and choose a peaceful response. It's like hitting the pause button on your racing thoughts and tuning into your body's needs. So by implementing stress management and mindfulness techniques, you'll reduce anxiety and tension, improve sleep quality, boost focus and concentration, and increase self-awareness and emotional regulation. It also cultivates a more positive outlook in your own life. Now let's talk about the tools that will help you personalize your stress-busting arsenal. These strategies are what I would like to say battle-tested techniques that that many psychologists and psychiatrists, counselors use in order to manage stress and teach others how to manage their stress. So one, deep breathing mastery. It's simple yet powerful. Try the four, seven, eight method. Inhale for four counts, hold for seven, exhale slowly for eight, repeat for five minutes, and you will feel the tension melt away. Two, Progressive muscle magic. Tense and release muscle groups, starting with your toes, and work your way up. Imagine the tension dissolving with each exhale. Now you're relaxed from head to toe. Again, from start from muscle group, start you work your way up from your toes, and you tighten your muscles. Three, mindfulness meditation, your inner sanctuary. Find a quiet place, focus on your breath, and simply observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Start with five minutes and gradually increase as you become comfortable. It becomes your mental oasis. Now, uh, meditation, I know, can be a bit uh, uh, controversial for some uh, people that are religious. And don't worry, I have something for you. And it's not your cup of tea, especially. Um, And we're going to talk about that in a moment. Four, body scan detective. That's how I like to call it. Lie down. 
Lie down and become a detective, scanning your body for any sensations or tensions. Breathe deeply into those areas and release the tension like you're trying to solve a case, like you're mastering your body. So, again, scan your body, f- look for the tensions, breathe deeply, and just focus on those areas. Journaling. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is your inner Shakespeare. Write down your thoughts and feelings. It's, it's incredibly cathartic. Express your worries, frustrations, and even gratitudes to gain clarity and perspective. It becomes your own personal therapy session. Then there's exercise. It's a natural mood booster. Find an activity you love, whether it's a brisk walk, dancing like nobody's watching, or a yoga flow. Get your body moving and watch the stress melt away. If you love lifting weights or punching a heavy bag, that's also a perfect thing to do. And then there's the power of connection. Humans are not meant to be alone. So talk to a trusted friend family, or even a therapist about your stress. Sharing is caring, and their support can be invaluable. And here's some bonus tools that you can use. Visualization. Imagine yourself in a calming environment, like a peaceful beach or a cozy forest. Engage in your senses. Feel the warm sand. Hear the waves crashing. Then there's guided meditation. There's apps like Headspace and Calm offer a variety of guided meditations for different needs and preferences. And then there's gratitude practice. Every day lists three things you're grateful for. Shifting your focus to the positive can be surprisingly powerful. Now, I want to touch on prayer uh, for those that are not keen to meditation. Prayer allows you to connect with something or someone larger than you. And there is scientific evidence that it is in fact healthy to pray. Some of these findings include reduced stress and anxiety. Prayer can act as a source of comfort and hope, potentially in reducing stress hormone and promoting relaxation. It improves mood and sense of well-being. Engaging in prayer can provide a sense of connection to something larger than oneself, fostering feelings of gratitude and belonging. Decreased blood pressure and heart rate. Studies have shown that prayer may have a calming effect on the nerve systems, leading to decreased blood pressure and heart rate. And then there's enhanced pain management. Some studies suggest that prayer can help individuals cope with pain more effectively, potentially reducing the need for pain medication. Then there's the great sense of purpose and meaning. Regular prayer can offer a sense of purpose and meaning in life, which can be beneficial for emotional and mental well-being. Remember, Consistency is key. Practice these techniques regularly, even when you don't feel stress, to build resilience and become a stress-busting pro. Now, this is just the beginning of your mindfulness and stress management journey. Explore online resources, apps, and even guided meditations. Or if you're into prayer, there are um, applications for that as well. Um, Find what resonates with you is what I'm trying to say. Remember, it's a process, not a destination. Be patient, experiment, and celebrate your progress. Now, thinkers, investing in your well-being is like investing in your happiness. By incorporating these tools into your daily life, you can cultivate inner peace, navigate challenges with grace, and unlock the full potential of your mind. So take a deep breath, quiet your thoughts, and embark on this journey of self-discovery. Remember, you're not alone in this. Share your favorite stress management tips in the comments below. 
let's support each other on this path to becoming like zen warriors thank you so much for listening don't forget to like share and subscribe really helps out the podcast and i want to thank my co-host that you heard in the background my two-year-old son who made sure he was known um, that he was here thank you and have a beautiful lovely day